Hey everybody, Ted from Mob Rules here. Uh, so I don't know about you, but I'm excited about something that just came out. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Chances are if you're watching this, you probably didn't watch it when I first released it, so it's been out for a little bit. But, 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 if, if, if you are watching this when I released it, ah, so excited, so excited, Bernie Prospero. Mm. So what do you think, guys? Should we open this? Mm, still shrink wrapped. All right, let's let's start with the with the good stuff. Slicey, slicey, slices. And peel back. Oh, I think what's one of the ceremonial things we must do. Mm, smell the plastic. Mm, smell of crack. Ooh, so glossy. Uh, all right, so are you ready for this? Coming up, <gasps> all the plastic, all the plastic. So if you could zoom in just a little bit on all the plastic. Oh man, this is so exciting. So your chances are you've probably seen some leaked pictures. Um, so you'll probably get a better understanding of what's in here than what I come up with, but Let's, let's take a look at some of this. So it looks like we got a ton of backpacks. What's kind of neat is that they're two-parters. Um, I think that's so you can put heavy weapon slots on here, or uh, heavy weapon options, perhaps. Maybe not. They look like they're all standard. Um, maybe it's to have the overlap cables with a little bit more dimensionality to the backpacks. It's kind of neat, a little bit something different. Oh man, look at these swords. I like how they're flayed, like right at the top, like they're, they're a little bit thinner down below, and then they just open up towards the end there. So just a little bit more weight towards the head of the, of the blade. Uh, that's pretty tight. We have the, the Roman, um, what is it, the, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the broom handle there. Um, somebody was telling me that the power fist, we're going to have optional slicey fingers for lightning claws. Um, but it looks like we have the power fist right there in its entirety, and the lightning claw is just a two-parter. So you have like the power fist, or the the, the base of it, because you have the lightning claw thumb. So it's it's not going to be interchangeable, it appears. Um, oh man, look at this! They got my um, my iron hands in mind. So the power uh, a, a thunder hammer. I don't think you could typically take those in um, just generic tactical squads. So that, that is pretty unique if that's the case, unless they're going to change that or change it. And I didn't pay attention. Um, yeah, so I played iron hands typically and it looks like the back of the leg is just slightly different. So we have, we don't have like that piston that goes in the back. So it's a nice standard issue. Um, looks like the, uh, oh gosh, what do they call it? The, the voxilla, the vex, uh, something or other. Um, it's the same one as the, what was in the original uh, Betrayal of Kalth. A lot of your weapons look like they're pretty much the same. Um, so the, the plasma rifle and the Melta are identical. So we still have those. We got some holdovers from the last edition. Oh, I like that. There's uh, clips. The, the bolters are different. So they look like a little bit nicer versions of the, the Mark III, like the Forge World Mark III. So there's a little bit more detail to them. I also really dig that they have the, the the holstered pistols. So that's really tight, okay. So what's kind of interesting is that we have, I think they're starting to think a little bit, no, no, no. I take that back, that's the same sprue. Okay, so in the past, I was really expecting them to have like this whole sprue be one complete set. So you just like folded it, stuck it in a box and let it go. So it looks like they're a little bit odd. So we have a reoccurrence in the backpack sprue here but the head sprue is also attached, so it probably would, maybe it goes like that, I don't know. Um, so, head sprues. Head sprue! Uh, it looks like all the heads are I almost identical, so we have all these horizontal, or I'm sorry, these vertically oriented slats. We have one right here that doesn't have any slats, and then it looks like we have one right here that just has holes, like dots. Um, and it looks like the right hand side, so, so some have uh, a hor or vertical as well as the dots. One of them is just dot and dot, and the blank one has dots as well. So there's a slight variation in the heads. 
Um, it looks like the chest pieces, let's see, uh, looks like the chest pieces are all the same. So I'm guessing the back pieces are, looks like the shoulders are all the same. Um, so I'm guessing like a lot of our variance is going to be later on. So then we have more leg sprue, more leg sprue, um, more head and uh, body sprue. Uh, and then we have the heavy weapon, backpack, and uh, body sprue right there. Okay. Uh, what else? What else is different? Oh, there's a guy with hair. <laughs> I thought they were went completely bald back in the day. So we got some, we got some hair. All right. Um... Here we go into the custodes. Hmm. This is, oh, look, oh man, check out that head. I don't know if you're as big of a bits nerd as I am, but that head is looking tight. It's all the detail, it's like a lot meatier than a lot of uh, uh, the regular heads. So it looks a little bit bigger than your regular uh, Astartes. So it's not just like they have bigger armor, like it's a whole bigger beast of a man. It's pretty tight. Uh, so here we have the, the halberd. Uh, there we go, with all sorts of detail. Uh, looks really good. It looks like the, the uh, was a Death Watch halberd. Um, man, all the details on here are bananas. But it looks as though, um, if you decide that you're not gonna do um, custodes, you could probably get away with using some of these, um, just to, like, spice up, like, your captains and stuff. So, it looks like it's probably about the right size. Um, and actually the arms look like they might just be longer, but not, like, beefier. Uh, so this is kind of neat. Man, I really dig, like, the way they do these triggers and stuff. See, so, like, they're, they're revving up, like, a chainsaw or something. Um. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. The backpacks are a little bit, the way their backs go, a little bit different. So they have like their, looks like their life support is like in uh, in their back. So it's like a somewhere in between a Terminator and a Marine. Uh, yeah, and we have one, two, three, four, five uh, chests. I thought I looked online and there might have been more. Uh, there's a ton of shields. It looks like we have uh, 10 shields of these little uh, ornate shields. Uh, and they probably fit, I don't know where they fit, they might go on a shoulder or something, that's usually how those go. Um, and let's see, I think there was a bunch of heads, one, two, three, oh, there's another human head, four, uh, five, six, seven, yeah, so you'll have plenty of heads to play with, and you might have some extras for your marines, oh, there's your, um, oh, it was the power knife, I was so excited about that, it was kind of... I mean, I guess you'd have a power knife, but I think the name is just kind of silly to me. Uh, but it's super cool. Neat idea. Um, all right, so here we have the Tartaros Terminator sets. Uh, okay, so if you noticed, you probably saw this online, but there's the auto cannon. That's kind of jazzy. So you get some long range potential with these guys, which is neat because they can actually run and sweep uh, all the lightning claws. God, I love this. You're. You're coming into like the more traditional uh, uh, power claws at this point. Uh, and it looks like even the chain fist, they're separate pieces that probably fit onto the, onto the power fist. So, you know, <laughs> that's kind of cool. If you could find a magnet small enough, that might be kind of hard. You might be able to just magnetize those themselves. Well, that's kind of fly. Look at that. A studded shoulder pad. Man. Uh... Uh, it looks like your combi weapons is kind of the same philosophy where you have your, uh, oh wow, your Volkite pistol. Oh, that's right, I think I saw that in the picture of the sprue. Uh, and there's those pictures of the painted guys. That's kind of cool. I like how he's pointing with his sword. Um, the heads, it looks like you're kind of going, you're hearkening to the Mark IV, the Maxis uh, Space Marine helmet. I bet if you didn't use them with uh, your Terminators, those would look pretty decent. Yeah, because I think that, that ball joint looks like it's about the same size. So you could probably put those on your Mark IV uh, Marines. So a lot of interchangeability. I think like the last set, the uh, uh, Cataphracti, there, there wasn't a lot of interchangeable. It was just, you know, you put it on there or you didn't. Because <laughs> I ended up putting some other heads on there and I had to like slice them right at the nose. Uh, what else is on here? 
There's your, is that your grenade launcher? No, that's part of your heavy flamer. Um, let's see, that goes on top of your torso. That's probably your grenade launcher uh, on top of your sergeant. Yeah, the heads are all relatively the same. They're mostly either horizontal or vertical uh, breather holes. And then uh, I think this one looks like it has a little bit more detail to the top of it. So there's a little variance there. Okay, probably about the extent of my lens. Um, so you can either go no hole, um, and there's got to be a helmetless one. There's always a helmetless. Oh yeah, so we got uh, Harry McHarrison. Looks like about the same head that we've seen on other Terminators. Man, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty dope. So I'm seeing the heavy flamer and the auto cannon, uh, as well as a plasma rifle. I don't know if that's. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> All right. Hopefully I'll edit that out. 